sky blue text too. So just don't use the top one, not the darker, the lighter. Buster, are you drinking out of the toilet? Okay. I just recorded that. Okay. Hello. It is I, Mr. A. Uh, when you guys are watching these videos that go along with the modules and apply your knowledge, send your knowledges, uh, there's some things you can do on the video. You can play it. My name is Mr. A and I'm the math teacher. You can stop it. Okay. Um, there's also something, there's a scroll bar. So if you want to go and you already know how you did a whole bunch of it already, you can zoom ahead and go to later on in the video. Okay. And it will take it and it should take there. Sometimes it takes a minute for it to, to uh, render, but it just takes a second. And then you can go later in the video. Um, and you'll notice that there is some, some captioning on the bottom. So you can turn on or off closed captioning. So if you don't like to listen or you can't hear and you'd like to read along, uh, YouTube auto generates some closed captioning that goes along with every single video that I have made for you uh, to complete the assignments. Most students like the videos way better than they do listening to me talk in class. And then I just go around and we'll be helping you as you're going through these videos. Okay. So it has closed captioning. It has the scroll bar. You can play and I... stop. You can also, if you want, you don't want to hear me. You just want to watch. You can mute me. Okay. Which is something you cannot do in class. So it's kind of an advantage to you. You can mute me so you don't have to listen to me if you do not like my voice. Another thing that you can do with my videos or with any YouTube video, if you go to settings and I'm talking way too slow, and you might've noticed if you heard Jill talking. I look forward to helping with your high a little bit like you've been drinking. Okay. But she hasn't. It's just her. She was, it, I changed the speed. I slowed it down because she talks way too fast most of the time, but I can speed it up a little bit uh, to normal and you can hear how fast she usually talks. Preparing for your college essay. Or this is how she usually talks. So it doesn't sound like she's been drinking. Okay. So you can slow her down and my videos, I make them a little bit fast. Normal is a little bit fast. So if you want to slow me down to make me sound normal, you go to three quarter speed. Or if you want me to talk really fast, like uh, Mickey Mouse or just really fast, you can go up to double the speed and hear me talk like this or Jill talk like this. You can do other things like go full screen, um, go smaller screen. There's all kinds of things that you can do. There's a mini player that you can put it down at the bottom. And I, the mini player might be a good idea for you. I've used the mini player. Yeah. I think, I think of it. So it's down here at the bottom. Then you can be doing all your work up here in the middle. You can be doing your work like I'm doing right now. I'm making this video. This is where I'm making the video. Uh, and I could have the mini player on top right there if I wanted to. Okay. Uh, and I hope this helps you enjoy my video even more and get a little bit more out of the instructions that I give in each of these videos. Have a great time doing blood drive fire or whatever it is you're doing. Hello, it's me, Mr. A, and I'm going to show you how to make a blood drive flyer. This is Microsoft Word, uh, Chapter 2, Module Number 1, Blood Drive Flyer. Uh, and I need to close this, and hopefully you can see everything I'm doing. Oh, i got to share my screen first. Share screen. Boom. Shared. Okay, I'm going to hide this guy. Hide this guy. And I'm going to keep the video panel up because you guys will like to see my face. Got a good face. Okay, so this is the textbook, and it looks like it's on about page 78, 178 in the textbook, uh, in the chapter two readings. And I'm going to close that. And here it is. When you open it up, WD-1-1, you want to save this to your flash drive, or if you have access to cloud, you can save it there. I'm going to save it into my Dropbox. Uh, and always name stuff with your, make sure your name's on it, and then maybe the name of the assignment, because I might name this. Uh, blood Egg Menony, Blood Drive Fire. Make sure I get it into the, I don't know if this has Dropbox on it anymore. I might take, oh, I took Dropbox off of here. So I'm just going to save it on the desktop. So you know how to browse because I've shown you that to save it somewhere. Just make sure you name stuff, Mr. Agamenini. Don't name it, name it your name. Don't name it mine, but that's Mr. Agamenini Blood Drive Liar. And the lights are going out, but that's okay. I'm going to hit, uh, and I don't want to do it. I'm going to save it in maybe desktop. I'm just going to save right on the desktop. Save. Okay. So here it is. And then you just need to go through the steps and check them off as you go. And you want, you, it's going to look this thing right here over here on the, left side of the screen might be your right no it'll be your left is going to eventually look like this thing on the right side of the screen perform the following task display formatting marks on the screen the display formatting marks they're already displayed there's this little button here you hover over it it says show or hide microsoft the and that's how you do it that button right there show show or hide uh paragraph marks or formatting marks and we're showing it we like that okay Click file on the ribbon, click save as. We already did that, so I'm kind of going out of order, but I displayed the formatting marks, and then I hit file and save as, and you should save it on flash drive. Review each spelling. To review spelling, I think you go to review. Spelling and grammar is in the upper left-hand corner under review, where you can find the source and check for words and look things up and language to see if things right. Make little comments, do some stuff like that under the review tab. And I'm going to, so I just click that, and it goes through. And I could ignore drive, but that looks like it's misspelled. Or I can highlight that and hit change. Or if you just double-click on it, it sticks it in for you. So instead of blood can, safe up to three lives save up to three lives, but it shouldn't be lives. It should be lives. Save up to three lives. I think that should be lives. So I'm going to double click on lives. There's two from, so delete 
repeated word. Sometimes you type in a deleted word. This should be our, not our. Double click and it'll do it. You can hit change or double click. And there may be more than one here. So I'm just gonna hit change. And then information should be information like that one. Change. Spelling and grammar is correct and done. Okay. Delete the second question mark after the text when. There's two question marks after the text when. Right there, see them? I'm gonna go to the right after the when and hit backspace and delete it. Um, that was number four. So then because there's only one. Delete the word single in the line of text below the headline. Delete the word single. Looks like it's right there. One single pint of blood can save. So just instead of one single, it's just gonna say one single pint of blood can save up to three lives. Insert the word call to the left of the phone number in the signature line. Hold on, I gotta find that. Oh, the signature line's always at the bottom. Call or call right down there. Space, C-A-L-L. -L. Or call 707-1555-0101, Jenny. Change the word Sunday to the word Saturday in the fourth line. Fourth line, Saturday. Change the word Sunday to the word Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Okay, doesn't look quite like that blood fire, drive fire yet. Let me look. Nope, not even close. But we're getting there. I think there's 23 steps that we gotta take. Change the, if request by instructor, change the phone number. Nah, they just leave it as it is. You don't need to change your phone number. Change the document theme to organic. Themes are under home, I think, maybe? Nope, design, let's try design. Yep, there they are, themes. Um, now this is called the themes group. All of this document formatting group right here, themes, and I wanna see all the different themes. So I'm gonna click that. And I'm looking for organic, basic, basic, basic. Oh no, themes are over here. There we go. Organic. So I was looking at the, I was looking at the um, style. I want to change the theme to organic. I just and very important that you do that. If you don't change it to organic, like I just did, it's going to mess up your whole document, and it isn't going to look like this. And that's how we want it to look. Okay. Change the margins to narrow. That is 0.5 inch top, bottom left, and right margins. Margins, I think, might be under design, but no. Margins. I forget where margins are. I got to find margins. If you don't know where something is, you can always click under tell me and then type in margins, adjust margins, normal. And that actually, I don't even know where that popped up, but you can do it that way. I'm pretty sure it might be under layout in the space. margins right there. I was right. Layout. So kind of look at those titles because it tells you layout and margins is what it's going to look like. And it said to make them narrow. So I'm going to hit that drop down arrow and it gives me that choice of narrow. And I just changed that to narrow. So that made it 0.5 all the way around. Center the headline. The first paragraph of body copy below the headline and the signature line in the flyer. So I got to now, let me see, change the center of the headline, the first paragraph of body copy. That's these two. So I'm going to center them. I'm going to go to the home page, home tab, and hit this button right here, center. So I just centered those two and then the signature line. So center the headline, the first paragraph of body copy below the headline and the signature line. Signature line, always the bottom line right there. So I'm going to center that as well. And I am done with number 11. Change the font size of all body copy text between the headline and signature line to 26 point. Headline and signature. Headline is probably that top one. So all these need to be 26. And you can, I think you can right click and it'll let you do it there. I forget the name of that box, but you can right click and that little secret box pops up. You can also do that stuff right up here under home and font. And this is the font group where you do all kinds of different stuff with the font. Each one of these things here where there's a line and then a square is called a group. This is the paragraph group and the styles group and the clipboard group. And we're done with number 12. Select the second and third paragraphs. Man, it's not doing the blood drive part very quickly. Select the second and third paragraphs of body copy in the flyer. Second and third, I think is going to be this one and this one. Selected them both. Select the second and third pairs by copy limit. And as a bulleted list, that's pairs with the words where and when. Where and when. I need to change that to a bulleted list. And I believe that might be under insert. Nope, design. I, maybe I can't see it. Oh, it's right there. Bulleted list. See that? It's under the paragraph group bulleted list. Look at that. I just made a bulleted list out of those two things. And each paragraph has a bullet. Where in a perfect 14, select the four paragraphs immediately above the signature line. There's four paragraphs. So these four right here, one, two, three, four, right above the signature line. I think it wants me to make that a numbered list, which is right there. And I did that. I made it a numbered list. Change, oh, no, we're on number 15 already. Look at this goal. Change the font and font size of the headline to 72 point Berlin Sands FB to me. Change the font, the headline. I gotta go up to the headline. Now this is where we're gonna start to kind of look like that one guy. It told me to make that be what? 72, 72. Enter. Oh, it's getting big. But I got to change that to, what did it say? Berlin Sands, something or other. Berlin Sands FB to me. Look at that. No man, it's starting to look that way already. Apply the preset text effect called fill white, outline green, accent color one. Now, if you if it's close, I mean, if, if I'm not going to check that exact wording, but try to make it look as much like the, the model as possible. If it ain't perfect, you'll be okay. 
Um, change the case of the text and headline. I want these all to be uppercase. Let's see. Increase font size. Change case right there. Uppercase. So that changes the case. You don't have to go through and change it. It does it for you. And that's in the font group. Remember, if it's dealing with the font or change in font size or caps or anything like that, usually it's going to be in the font group. Um, apply the preset text effect. So preset text effect. Now, oh, here they are right over here. So the text effects are right here. And again, you hit the drop down arrow and it gives you a whole bunch. And I think it said fill green accent color one or fill white accent color, fill white outline green, fill white outline, fill. It's either going to be that one. Nope, it's not that one. It's this one right here. Glow one accent one, green accent color one to the entire headline. So this is the one right here. Shade the text in the headline gold. So I got to shade that text in the headline. Shading is, I'm looking for a paint can. Where's the shading? There it is. Shading. I got to find gold. And again, if you get close, you'll be good. I'm going to get it exact so it looks right. But try to get it exact if you can. Gold. And if you hover over at the name, gold accent six. Gold darker 25%. Lighter 40%. Darker 25%. I found it. Man, that doesn't look like the blood dry fire yet. But you know what? I think it's going to in a minute when I change the theme colors to red violet. So I'm going to go to design. I think we're, yep, there's the theme. Colors right there. Red violet. Oh my God. Looky there. It looks like that. And that's kind of how I want it to look. I'm still missing some things, but it's starting to look more like that deal. So we're getting closer. So we're on 17. Change the font color of the first line paragraph of body copy below the headline to red. So this one right here, I got to change that to, let me see. Change the font color of the first line of body color, headline to red accent six. Got to go to home. Red. Red accent six, darker. 25%. I found it. Boom. I just changed it. Bold the text in this line. To bold again, you're going to go to the text and bold is that B right there. B. Bolded it. Look at that. I bolded it. Number 18. Cut the word park in the first bulleted paragraph. Cut the word park in the first bulleted paragraph. I'm going to cut that out. I'm just going to highlight it. Oh, I think you can. Let me see. Right click. Cut. So I'm going to cut it. Paste the cut word. So we're going to cut and paste. You could just backspace into it and then type it in where it's telling me to. But you cutting and pasting is kind of helpful if it's more text than that. Before the word boulevard. So the address is 102 Park. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right there. 102 Wicker Park. I don't want it to be. I want it to be right here. Right click, paste, and I'm going to keep the source formatting. Wicker Park Boulevard. 102 Wicker Park. Good. 19. Copy the word your before the word time in the line above the numbered list. Um, and you know what? I am going to zoom. I want to go to page width there. That looks better. I, I just zoomed to page width so I can see the whole thing. I didn't have to scroll back and forth. Um, and it's going to make it a little easier. For, for about an hour of copy that word. So I'm going to right click, copy. Copy it before the word time in the line above the number list. Paste the copied word before the word blood in the first paragraph. Right before blood. And I'm going to paste. And I believe it wants me to keep. Click the paste option before the paste text and click merge formatting on the paste options. So keep source formatting, merge formatting. Merged it. Okay, There's different objects there, but you can always make it look the same. And I'm not going to really know exactly how you do it, but it's just some little tricks that can make things a little bit easier for you. So, the paste text, so formats is matching. Remove the hyperlink format from the web address in the signature line. So in the signature line, signatures are at the bottom. Web addresses are always underlined in a different color. And it told me to remove that formatting. So I'm going to, let me see. I'm going to just, let me see. Change the font size to 16 point, which is right there. 16, enter. Oh, I should have done that to the whole thing. I'm going to remove that. Remove hyperlink, and then um, should be a way to clear the formatting. I remove the hyperlink, and I'm going to undo the underline. And then I want this to be regular colored, automatic. And then I want everything here to be 16. And it said to use the what did it call that? Mini toolbar. Yeah, mini toolbar. That's what that thing's called. 16. Enter. Look at that. Oh, man, it's starting to look just like it should. Font color to blue. I got to change that to blue accent for color $6. Blue 
accent five, darker 50%. Four, darker 25%. Now I got to go to here. Four, darker 25%, 50% right there. And again, if you don't get it exact, try to get it as exact as you can though. And my God, we are going fast. We are on 22. Oh, we still got, geez, we got a lot of ways to go. Hope I don't run out of time. Switch the second and third paragraphs in the numbered list. That is select to take a quick physical. Take a, it says really quick physical. Take a quick physical numbered paragraph and use drop and drag, drag and drop to move it so it is the second numbered paragraph. So it wants me just to drag this and stick it on top. So you see how those two switch spots? And that's really easy. Just highlight it and drag it up there and make it switch. And I don't know why really still in there. I maybe missed a step. So I'm going to take out really. Take a quick physical. Um, and that's number 22. Take a really quick physical. Did that. And then the donate blood numbered paragraph will be the third numbered paragraph. And that's perfect. We are on number 23. So I'm going to stop my recording and then continue it here in just a minute. Okay, I'm recording and we are on number 23 now. And I'm going to go ahead and hide this guy up here. And go to 23. Select the words, three lives. So there's three lives in the first paragraph. Oh, I want to get this so I can see it. So I'm going to go to view. And again, I want to see the page width. Oh, and I guess I, oh, I can now. Save up to three lives. So underline these words, undo and then redo. So underline is under home. Undo is control Z. Redo is control Y. There's also a button up here that says undo. And then there's a button that it changes to redo. So you can do it that way or control Y and control Z. There's another way to do that. I control Z. If you ever make a mistake, hit control Z and it'll undo whatever the mistake was. If your, all your text suddenly disappears or something. Select the text where in the first bulleted paragraph and then select the non-adjacent text when in the second bullet paragraph. So I'm going to select. Now to do that, what you do is I believe it's hold down the control button. Yes, that's it. Hold down the control button to select non-adjacent text is the name of that skill. Bold the selected text. Bold. So bold is the B right there. I just bolded it. Change the font color of the same selected text to blue accent. So I got to change that to blue. Accent for dark 50%. Boom. I did that to some other text, I think, earlier. Italicize the word only in the paragraph above the numbered list. Only needs to be italicized. It's right there. And that little I right there is italicized under the font group. And we are on 26. Change the zoom to one page so that the entire page is visible in the document window. One page. So I'm going to go to view. Zoom. Whole page. Okay, there we go. I can see the whole dang page now, which is what I wanted. Insert the blood drive picture so that it is centered on the blank line. What blood drive picture? Okay, I think I have to go, you have to go get that on the Moodle page and it should be, oh dang, I need a new window. New window should be in the Moodle. Recently accessed courses. Apply your knowledge, support. Double click really quick. Support WD, and that should have downloaded at the bottom, and it did. Okay, so I can go find that in downloads. I'm going to minimize that window. So it said to insert the picture. Now, to insert any kind of an object, you go to insert. There's different kinds of objects. The first kind is a picture. There's tables. There's all kinds of online pictures, shapes, pictures, add-ins, links, all kinds of videos. You can do all kinds of stuff. But it wants me to do a picture, and I click picture, and then I need to go to downloads, which is right there, and I'm looking for, oh, and it's right there. Support WD-1, and I double-clicked on it. That will insert it, okay? Now, it's really starting to look like that deal that we had in there before. Now, it wants it to be a certain size, okay? Resize the picture proportionally so it's approximately 2.8. Apply the bevel, okay, so 2.8 by 3.53. I can put this right, I can put the 2.8 right there, 2.8, and it will automatically adjust everything else. Okay, so apply the bevel rectangle picture style. Bevel rectangle picture style. Here's the picture styles, quick styles, bevel, rectangle, bevel, rectangle, bevel. Where are you, bevel rectangle? Bevel, rounded, snip. Simple, reflected, oh my God. Bevel, they all look like rectangles to me. Beveled matte white, I don't want that one. Just perspective. Bevel, I missed it and it's gotta be easy. Bevel, 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 bevel. Oh, dang it, I missed it. I gotta find the bevel. Where are you, bevel? Bevel, beveled matte white, ain't that. Simple white, metal frame, drop shadow, reflected round, and beveled oval, no. Simple. God. Why is this so hard? If it's a rectangle, I probably ain't going to ding you for it. Apply the bevel rectangle picture style. Bevel, rectangle.
reflected bevel. I don't want reflected. Bevel rectangle. Oh my God. Why didn't I go to that one first? There, I beveled it and it took me way too long. I'm gonna have to cut that crap out. Uh, add the glow eight point blue accent color four picture effect to the so picture effects. Picture effects right there. It's the second one down. And if I made this picture bigger like that, it, they're labeled and you can see it. But when I make it small like this, there's just going to be a little icon there. So sometimes you can't see what something is. Make it big and then make it small. Okay, so we're doing picture styles. Add the glow accent color for picture effect. Blue accent color four. Blue accent color four. Okay, I'm on number 27. Points. I inserted it and I found a data bevel uh, three and I resized the page and I did double the nine eight eight outcome eight point blue accent color four picture effect. Picture effect. So I gotta choose That's the picture. Point. When you choose the picture, you can do the format and then point. find quick styles picture effect. Hi, come on in. Picture effect. Oh, I'm making a video, but I'll be right there. Is somebody here? That's uh, the picture effect. Hey, is Matthew, glow, come on in. Oh, I've got to stop the glow. video. I'm just about to put an effect on this video. Say hi to my students. Glow. Eight point accent color four. Eight point. I found it. Damn, I found it. I am good. Picture effect. I am on 28. Add a, oh, I think I'm supposed to center that or something. Centered. Go to home and hit. Center. Oh my God, that looks just like it. Add a page border to the flyer using these formats. Got to add a border. Yeah, I got to unselect that. Now I got to find border. Page border. <gasps> my light just went off. Add a page border flyer using these formats. I got to find out page border. So I'm going to click on this and type page border. Page borders. Borders and shading. So it was on home. Paragraph. Borders and shading. So I'm going to click borders and shading down here. So I, I found the borders and shade, shading. It was in the paragraph part. Borders and, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Control Z undoes. Control Z. So I'm going to go hit the arrow and go down to borders and shading and click page border. So it's under borders and shading. Add a page border to flyer using these formats. Setting box. Box is over on the left. First style on the list, color blue. First style on the list, color blue. Here's the color. Blue. Dark blue. Just plain old blue. That's cool. I like blue. Oh, God. I should have said blue accent and there are dollars for 46. It's that one right there. And it tell me to make it a certain point. Three point. One, two, three point is right there. And I'm going to hit OK. Looky, there's my page border. That's what I was looking for. I'm going to turn them off. OK. Change the spacing after the paragraph above the number list to zero points. Change the spacing after the paragraph above the numbered list to zero points. So I got to change the spacing. I think that's under paragraph. Line the paragraph spacing. Add space before, remove space after. So it told me to remove the space after. Or I can change it to zero. So I'm going to go to lane, line spacing options. Spacing after the paragraph to zero point. Zero point, I'm going to hit OK. And it kind of moved things up a little bit. Um, change the spacing before the signature line to 18 points. So change the spacing before that. And again, that was under paragraph, I think. God, I just did it and I already forgot where it was. Spacing. Line and paragraph spacing, it's right there. Change it to 18 point before the signature line. 18, good. Look at that. The entire flash is found on a single page. I'm closing two pages, resize the picture, decrease spacing. I got one page, so I am good to go. Change the zoom to text width, then page width, then 25%, and then 100%. Notice the differences. Change the zoom. So I got to go to zoom. I think that's under view. Page width. One page is there. Page width is right there. 25%. That's 100%. Page zoom. And I go to like 25%. Okay. So you can do that too, just to see how stuff changes if you want. That's all that is for. Request by your sector under the text blood dry flyers, the comments, document properties. Change the other. So document properties are always under file. And right there, these are the document properties. You can add a title like blood drive flyer if you wish to. Drive flyer, that's what it asks. And you don't have to do that, but that's something you can do documents. You put tags on it, do some other things, put some comments. I made this, it's my first word document. Uh, you can always put a compliment in here. Mr. A is very gnarly. Gnarly starts with a G. Most people don't know that. Um, and then you can go back to the document. This is the backdoor view or something like that. So we looked at it a lot. We went to the backdoor view. Save the document again with the same file name. You might want you should save it. You can save by clicking this little button up here to save the disk field. You can always just hit file and then hit save. If you want to save it as something else, you can. But that should be saved. I'm going to zoom it back to 100%. Man, that looks pretty good. I'm going to kind of go up a little bit and see 
if it looks like that same deal. And it sure does, it looks the same to me. And print the document. I'm not gonna print it, but you can if you want. Uh, don't do it here because it'll waste a bunch of school. Don't do it at school. Close it and exit Word. Close it, file, close, exit Word. Submit the revised document in the format specified by your instructor. And I showed you, I should have showed you how to do that, but you just have to insert it and save it into the Moodle. This file announcing company instead of a flood drive, which theme colors would you apply and why? And you can answer that question if you want. It's a cool question because it's number 37. And I am done. Sky blue text. Sky blue text. Buster, are you drinking out of the toilet? Okay. Okay. I just recorded that. I just recorded that. Sky blue text too. So just don't use the top one, not the darker, the lighter. Buster, are you drinking out of the toilet? Okay. I just recorded that.